you, can you hear him? <laughs> hey Jots, welcome back, day one of the Need for Speed Marathon, tonight with Need for Speed Shift. Need for Speed Grid. I think Grid was way better though. Like if you really put it side by side, what was the better game? I think Grid was a lot better. Yeah, exactly. Like the handling, I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking, but they tried to be a simcade, but man, if you want handling like a simcade, you have to do it like Forza Horizon. ABS on stability control. I'm gonna turn that off for now. So we're playing on hard difficulty. Let's see how that goes. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, I have 40k. Can we change the color? We actually can't. All right. I did like this game more than Undercover, to be perfectly fair. I think you have a slightly faster start if you shift into first gear before the race starts. <laughs> the major reason to have the racing line on is you do get all these uh, corner masteries and racing line extra points if you actually drive the racing line. Oh yeah, and if we play on hard difficulty, we're gonna we're gonna be missing out on a lot of stars. Like the cockpit camera is really good in this game. But the exterior camera is horrible because the cars move so strangely. And to be perfectly fair, I like the Need for Speed Shift games more than Project Cars. New driver level. Oh yeah, that's gonna unlock some stuff. Oh, I like manufacturer's competition. When they give you the cars, that's a lot more fair. Oh, that is one weird ass look back camera. And it's completely useless. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. So the game disqualifies you uh, at the fourth cut. You can do three cuts before, yeah, before the game hates you. Although what I do think is cool, um, you get the maps a lot, of, at least a lot of maps that you saw in Pro Street, but they are much, much more detailed. Dirty overtake. You do get a lot of experience for playing dirty. Like if you want the most experience, you want the, you want to do both. You basically want to be precise. And at the same time, ram as much as you possibly can. The hot shake. I don't love it, I don't hate it. I mean, the number one reason I like Pro Street more is the presentation. Pro Street just has a lot more soul in this game. Like if they made this into Pro Street 2, I think I would have liked it a lot more. Oh god, I forgot. The game has drift events. And holy shit, the, the handling is bad. Okay, you can outrun your opponent, or you can wreck him. Guy on the list. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that information got leaked at some point and holy shit, man, they are so cheesy. <laughs> Come on! But it's a nice car. I want it. Well, car is not like driving off-road. It's, it is quite satisfying though to win a hard race. But it's also a little bit all over the place, like some events are definitely much harder than others. Uh oh. I mean, you could go for like all stars, but then I really do recommend playing on easy, because otherwise you're gonna have to retry, retry, retry. Oh yes, that is true, like if you bought a shit car, you can just sell it back for full price including upgrades. And you can just swap car that way. See, down there you see the progression bar, like what you need in parts, bodies and race parts to get the works conversion. Very are- oops. <laughs> Help. Ah, dickhead, man. In my opinion, Shift 2 is just, you know, a slight improvement over 1. Just has a few more features over Shift 1 and therefore, yeah, I like it more. I really wish I could blast through here, but you can't with these idiots, man. <laughs> there we go, torpedo. <laughs> Fuck him. Now it's my turn. Could open a course. <laughs> what the fucking rubber band? Dude, my rival is a cheating cunt. What the? This is so bullshit, man. <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. Dude, even if you play on easy, doing 100% in this game would take forever and a half. Come on! Why well, spinning the opponent's an objective? But game just likes to do that from time to time. Holy crap! 
American racetrack that whoa okay <laughs> oh, this is truly frustrating man I'm so annoyed okay I think it's time for a new car since I saved up a bunch of money okay I think it's Porsche time oh wow that car actually has some good grip Funkin' rubber banders, man. Ooh. Level Up gives you 100k in sponsorships. Notchlife and Veyron. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> oh yeah, that is true. This game has artificial input lag. Which means you do your input and the car reacts a lot, a lot later. Rip. <laughs> That's why you kind of want to have the racing line on, because the game just wants 75% racing line from you. That's the number one feature that should have never been invented. Whoever came up with artificial input lag, it needs to be cut into a million pieces. Ooh, that did work. Haha, <laughs> we tied on a one! Ah, goodbye, dirt. Oh man. This was my favorite car before the FXXK. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice sink. <laughs> what I like about the game, there are a lot of different tracks in the game. You're definitely gonna have one of your favorite tracks in here. Yeah, I was actually wondering if that's gonna count as a single cut. <laughs> but yeah, this is one. <laughs> so if you ever if you ever need to catch up to the overpowered hard difficulty, take a take a generous shortcut. By the way, the menu has lag too. Even the menu has input delay. Okay, I haven't shown you drift yet. Let's see if I can somewhat control the car. So boring too, man. <laughs> Shit. I hate it. <laughs> so awkward. It's so awkward, so slow. Oh, she feels pretty boring. <laughs> Just kill me. Oh, tier 4 is the highest, huh? I can't afford it. That is relevant. I do like that there are pre-made liveries to give the cars some life. Also, I do like when the game provides me with some cars. Allows me to check out some others. Okay, honestly, I think I'm done. I'm done playing on the hard difficulty. The hard difficulty is not balanced whatsoever. I'm actually curious how medium is in comparison. Oh, there's such a huge difference between medium and hard. Like, medium is piss easy and hard is unbeatable. Look at this man, 20 seconds. Like now there's 20 seconds between us and the hard difficulty wasn't even beatable. <laughs> These motherfuckers, man. Nice. Zero tolerance, man. Ignoring, ignoring that I actually exist in this game. Fuck you, man. It's so annoying. They just... Ah, they just don't give a shit about you. They can't. Actually, it's just an F1. Rip! <laughs> Come on, man! Okay, I kind of want the works car, but I have to buy one. It says W if it has a works conversion. <laughs> Why does it work so easy in this game? <laughs> Although one thing I learned again today is you want to turn down this the dead zone. The dead zone by default is at 33% which means a third of your analog stick is not gonna work. And that introduces a shit ton of input lag. Ah oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 he's gone. 
Out of my way. Out of my fucking hell, dude. High stakes remake? Now that's something that sounds like fun. <laughs> what is this idiot doing? <laughs> no, I get slapped. <laughs> Honestly, the game does... It's less boring when you have a fast car. <laughs> Especially when you can mess with your opponents like this. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's definitely a fun thing to do. To just drive on like, your opponents. <laughs> this part is weird. Oh yeah, it is. But that is true for all racetracks in Shift. They were not accurate whatsoever. Fuck him. <laughs> I would feel sad for everyone if your mom is like, hey, we got Gran Turismo at home, and then she points at shift. Finally, we get pussy on the stream. You wanted it for nearly five years? It's finally happening. World Tour in Need for Speed. This is end game. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff. That's what we've been waiting for. The ultimate competition for the championship. We will be running in three competitions, race series, a world series. Race Series? US. World Series? Ah, and then the final showdown at Brands Hatch. I wonder if the cock upgrade is actually necessary. Honestly, that was the coolest thing about Shift in my opinion. Being able to get some really tricked out cars. Pop-up lights are gone? <gasps> oh no. We ruined the car. I don't think I want to keep this car. That <laughs> car seriously weak, dude. Bye-bye. Half a million?! Holy shit, who spends half a million on that car? One thing I don't understand is, why do you have to buy everything like this? Like, just let us press the work spot immediately. <laughs> Bye, Viper. <laughs> the new test drive. I like the location that they picked. Hong Kong, yeah. So they picked Hong Kong as the location, and I think that by itself could be very interesting, because... I cannot name another game that plays in Hong Kong. At least a racing game. In general, I'm looking forward to it. Could be really fun. Rip. <laughs> gotta, I gotta say, it's kind of fun taking out the opponents the way they do it to you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the other guy just went straight into the wall. Can you, can you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> Mona and Lenny. Lenny's the white guy and Mona is the black cat. They're, they're like <laughs> getting into every nook and cranny of the flat right now. Okay, new car. I found Lenny again. <laughs> Wait a second. Hey. Stay with me for a second, come on. <laughs> All right, let's bring back let's bring back a fan favorite. No, 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 no. <laughs> she really doesn't want to be on camera. Mona, Mona's a little more shy. That car is bad. <laughs> it's actually really bad. <laughs> Five long laps. Yeah, that's that's what the game throws at you though. At the end, the thing is, slightly mad studios absolutely hate EA. Then they went to Codemasters, and then Codemasters was bought by EA. So now slightly mad studios is back at EA. Like I'm really curious how that is gonna evolve. <laughs> Holy shit! Clean racing. <laughs> what happened to him? Game is super picky about master corners or not. <laughs> Too much action for Mona. Oh god, of course we ended on the Nurburgring. <laughs> I started just killing them on purpose. It's a lot more fun. Even if you drive like the dirtiest motherfucker, you're still gonna get precision driving. Alright, let's go for the finale. A five lap race at Brands Hatch is the grand finale. Rip. If you're behind them, it's fine. But if you're on the side, you can't really take them out. But if you're behind, you just you just pick them up. <laughs> and you kill them. She's so black. 
gonna punch the cat. <laughs> she really wants on my table. <laughs> now, yeah, that is the cutscene that I was talking about. Credits. Oh, she does that. <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys again fresh tomorrow so yeah sleep tight definitely do come back tomorrow thank you for watching check out instant gaming and good night <laughs>